Hi guys, so it's been a while since I made a video. Yeah, I know. Um, well, um, yes, um, you know, since I already did the unboxing of Catherine a while ago, uh, I beat the game a while back, um, and I gotta say, it was pretty fun. Um, beat Catherine P for the PS3. Um, <clears throat> this game is really, really, really difficult, but it's really good. So, um, yeah, I'll talk about Catherine, I'll review it for you guys. So, the story about Catherine is basically, you're playing a character, 32-year-old Vincent Brooks, who basically is in a relationship with his girlfriend, Catherine, with a K. And, you know, she's asking him, you know, that they should get married. And that she's pressuring him to get married, and basically, he's struggling you know, because he doesn't want to get married. He wants to stay in the life he has right now because it's simple. Because he doesn't want to be tied down, literally. So, you know, he's stressing out. And he's worrying over this. And basically, one day, he's at a bar called um, Stray Sheep where he hangs out most of the time with his friends. And he's drinking and he gets a little drunk. And while he got drunk... He meets a beautiful girl, cat named Catherine, with a C. Now, Catherine starts to flirt with Vincent, and somehow, the next morning, he wakes up to a naked C. Catherine. Now, that's where the whole story starts taking off, between Vincent having trouble you know, staying in his relationship with K. Catherine and basically having another relationship with C. Catherine. Basically, he is cheating. Now, at this time, while Vincent is having an affair with K. Catherine, every night, he has a nightmare. And each nightmare, he has to escape because if he doesn't escape from this nightmare, he will die in the real world. Like how many men in his neighborhood or in his hometown have been dying. Um, so basically, the premise of the gameplay now is that now every night you will be playing as Vincent Brooks, climbing a puzzleless tower that just is very difficult. So you have to move blocks to create stairways or create a pyramid or to create, use these different techniques to get all the way to the top of the pedestal to escape from the nightmare. Now, each nightmare or each day has one floor, but they have different stages for each floor before you fight, not fight, but you will meet or encounter the final boss where you have to escape. Now, each boss is actually something that symbolizes what Vincent is going through throughout his life. So, um, the first boss is Catherine with a K. She's holding a fork, and basically, he's having a nightmare of her because she's stressing him out about getting married, and he's really, really worried. And I guess that's basically the symbolism of, you know, he's scared of Kay Catherine, what she would do, and I, I don't know, but... Um, the gameplay is really hard. Uh, at times, you will get stuck, because you really have to think on your toes, like, really quickly. Um, on the normal stages before the boss battles, basically the floor is falling down. So you have to reach at the top before the flo floor falls down. But when you're fighting the boss or when you're encountering the boss, it's more worse because the, bot's up, the boss is up on your case. Like, every second of the way, you have to get up as fast as you can or you will die because the boss this doesn't just follow you up all the way to the top. It attacks you. Um, and they do special attacks or these special abilities, like there would be one boss where it shoots these like love arrows at you and if you get hit, basically your controls are all opposite, they're flipped over and basically now you're struggling to know which buttons to go left or uh, which buttons going to right and you know, you're, you have to go to the top because you're confused, but if you're confused it's harder to get all the way to the top unless you're really really pro. Now. Um, that's the first part of the gameplay. Um, the second part of the gameplay is after the nightmare, you go to the next day, and you'll see this wonderful, wonderful cutscene about the story that's going on, and the decisions you get to make. 
Now, basically, the decisions you're gonna make is a decision between order or freedom in your relationship with K. Catherine and C. Catherine. Now, they will be given these circumstances where someone will ask you a question, and you have to answer whether or not, you know, like, say, like, this, these two ladies will ask you, which would you rather prefer, a dog or a cat? You know, which one is, you know, and then I, if you choose dog, it's order, and if you choose cat, it's freedom. Now, that doesn't make sense totally, but um, there are times where um, either Catherine with a K or C. Catherine with a C will... No, I said C. Catherine. Well, okay, you know what? You know what I mean. They will text you, and you have to answer the text. And depending on how you reply is depending on which meter you would go to, the freedom or order side. Now, you get to choose the text message you want to send them. So choose wisely, or if you don't really care, just send them whatever you, you want. But um, depending on your choices, you will have a different ending. There are eight different endings in the game. Um, I got the true lover's ending, but which is, means you stay on the order side the whole entire time, and you don't go to the freedom side. But um, I won't spoil any of the endings for you. you know, that's your decision, but basically um, that's another part of the gameplay where you have to make decisions. Now, the other part of the game is when you're at a stray sheep where Vincent hangs out and drinks at the bar. Um, at the bar, you are able to talk to your friends, and basically, like I said, they will give you these questions that you have to answer, and depending on what you answer, it's either you go to the freedom order side. So that's what happens when you're at the bar, or basically you just sit there and chat with your friends, um, help out people with their problems, basically. You'll... You'll see what I mean, but you'll talk to different people and you're able to help them out with their problems and issues. They're not like social links in Persona, but it's good enough. Um, now, what I like about this this part in the bar is that, um, you know, uh, you get to actually play a game called Rapunzel, which actually is a puzzle game. That is basically like the gameplay when you're in a nightmare stages. So this Rapunzel game actually refines and helps you with you know, your abilities and techniques in the game, you know, just to help you out. Now, each night you only get three lives to play. Once those three lives are gone, can't play Rapunzel anymore until the next day. And also, when you're at the bar, you can actually drink. And depending on how much you drink, depends on how much faster Vincent goes in the nightmare stages. And after each time you drink, um, you get these alcoholic facts, which is really interesting. Um, I don't drink, so I wouldn't know these things, but it's really really cool to understand it, I guess you could say, but, um, yeah, uh, is that all I have to say? Well, yeah, that's how Catherine is. Graphics are amazing, I have to say. The cutscenes, they're great. Um, they're really great, the anime cutscenes and the cutscenes in-game. Um, but what I have a problem is the whole sound thing. With Persona, when you're talking in-game cutscenes, it's perfectly fine. It's really loud. You can hear what they're saying, but when they go into the anime cutscenes, you really can't hear what they're saying. In Vincent, it's reversed. In-game cutscenes are really, really, really soft. You really can't hear them at times. But when they go into the anime cutscene, they're really loud. And like, you know, it's just like, wow, well, what happened here? But all in all, that's just a small nitpick. Cutscenes are fine. Story is great. Um, the music in the game. I can't say enough. I have the soundtrack for the game, and it's so amazing. It's basically the remix versions of these classical artists. The music, like, um, like, it's just so amazing. Uh, <laughs> I don't know these artists, actually. Uh, maybe Beethoven? Yeah, I know a little bit about it, but I don't hear a lot, but... It's just really good. Like it's just the remix versions are just so amazing. It's just gonna get stuck in your head, and it just like replays over and over again. It's just really great. Um, so what else I have to say about the game is that I would highly recommend if you guys, you know, really like puzzle games and really like a challenge. I highly recommend you get this game. It's really great. Has a great story. Um, if you're in for the story. 
and you don't mind the challenge, I say still get it because even though there's a really hard difficulty, like the easy is still difficult, they had to make the easy um, for us because in Japan it, it's really hard. When they got it in Japan it was really hard so they had to patch it up in America and make it easier level, but still, if you can get past the challenges, you will love the story and you will love the cutscenes. Each cutscene runs about 15 to 20 minutes long. It's not Metal Gear, but still great. I really like it. Um, yeah, I gotta say, um, besides also uh, playing through the game, actually you can unlock stages that you can play on your own um, called the Babel the Tower of Babel, where basically you have to climb out, num set a number of steps or something like that and reach the goal. And that's for single player mode or you can play together and versus mode or something, but after you finish the game, you get a co-op mode where you can play against a friend or you get to help your friend along the way to get to the top. But all in all, Catherine's a great game. It's a must get, must buy. I would highly suggest this. Don't look over this game just because of the cover. Um, you know, there's a lot of good games coming like Arkham City and Uncharted 3, which I'm really looking forward to. A lot of great games have been coming out this year. And I say that Catherine needs a little bit more sunshine on this care on this game. Take it, take my word for it. That's a really great game. You should check it out. Don't like think like oh, it's just different. It's not modern warfare. It's not like an RPG. But it's really great. I highly suggest it. Check it out. There is also if you're for Persona fans you really like the game, the creator of uh, well, Persona actually created this game. So basically, maybe you get to see what's going to happen in Persona 5, like how the character, how the guy who created Persona is going to do do it for the PS3. I hope they make Persona 5 for the PS3, but um, yeah, and also Teddy's in the game. He's actually an Easter egg. If you had to see him, he, I, it's really great. And playing the theme from uh, Persona uh, in the bar is great. But yeah, although I give, you know, Catherine a 9 out of 10, a minus 1 because it's difficult. But still, all in all, it's a really great game. It can frustrate you at times, but you will learn to love it. And it's very intense, very great. See you guys later. Okay, till next time.